we have eight of the best heavyweights in the UFC and our job is to find out who is the best one with Aspinall v Curtis Blades, John Jones v Stipe Milicic, Cyril Gain v Pavlovich and Alistair Overeem v Kane Velasquez. So the first fight of the quarterfinals is Aspinall vs Curtis Blades. with which to recover here before the next round. Well, this is crazy that this fight is... His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kane Velasquez's punch of choice. Every This guy has to recover her very bad. Oh, nice kick. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right Back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. Well, that overhand, big weapon for him throughout his career. It's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Signs of bruising now on that left thigh. Huge 
Charles Porter. Oh, Is he dead? Do you think he's dead? Right, there we go. Curtis Blades beat Tom Aspinall in the second round by TKO. But who will be joining him in the semi finals? John Jones or Stepo Stepe Milicic? Is he dead? Do you think he's dead? Only 37 seconds into John Jones be Stipe Milicic. Stipe with an overhand knocks Jones out and joins Curtis Blades to make up the first semi-final. But who's going to go into the other one? The first fight for the other semi-finals. Cyril Gain v Sergei Pavlovich. Is he dead? Do you think he's dead? Another overhand puts the end to another fight. Cyril Gain for Sergei Pavlovich ends by a KO in the first round, which means Pavlovich is on to the semi finals. But well, depends. Alistair Overeem or Kane Velasquez, which one will join him? Is he dead? Do you think he's dead? Alright, 
Kane Velasquez joins Pavlovich in the semi-final after beating all after beating Alistair Offering by again another disastrous, terrifying, brutal overhand. All right, first semi-final we have Curtis Blades v Stipe Milicic. Is he dead? Do you think he's dead? What the hell is going on? The overhand seems to be the punch that just beats everyone. Stipe has just beaten Curtis Blades in 49 seconds, very first round, with that exact overhand he used to beat John Jones. And he moves on to the finals, where he will be matched up with either Sergei Pavlovich or Kane Velasquez, which is our next semi-final coming up right now. <laughs> God have mercy upon us. <laughs> Pavlovich go moves on to the final against Stipe 
after beating Kane Velasquez. But this time, it was not an overhand. It was a straight. So finally, we got a different finish to a fight. But now, it's time to see who the best heavyweight in the UFC is. We have Stipe v Sergey Pavlovich. also cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. Stipe Milicic proves he's the best heavyweight in the UFC with a round one knockout against Sergei Pavlovich. But of course it had to be the overhand. Of course it had to be by an overhand. That was Stipe's favorite weapon during this fight. The only one he used to use an overhand to knock out Jones an overhand to knock out Curtis Blade and now we use one in the final to knock out Pavlovich fantastic alright guys if you have enjoyed this tournament to see who the best heavyweight was or is in the UFC please like and subscribe and I will see you all next one peace